everyone welcome back to my channel i have some exciting news that i wanted to share with you guys something that took me by surprise and made me very very happy <laughs> basically um you probably already know of tripolar troy uh he's a good friend and i had a message from him the other day and he sent me this link and it was from a website called feedspot.com and it had on there top 20 bipolar YouTube channels to watch. And he put on there, congratulations, Jesse, we've made the top 20. So I click on the link, not really knowing what was going on. And I start scrolling through the website and there's a, a list of 20 people that are like must watch bipolar channels. So I'm scrolling through the list and I'm recognizing some faces and some names and Troy's at number seven and at number 13 is me. I was really shocked. Um, and I don't know, I mean, they work it out in a particular way, but yeah, I was just really, really shocked and it, it really made my day. Well, it was actually my evening, I found out. So it made my evening. And I just sort of felt like, well, I must be doing something right, you know, if I was in the top 20. I earned myself this little medal, which I'll put up, or it'll be the thumbnail or something. Yeah, this little medal that says, you know, top, top 20 bipolar channels. So yeah, I was like really excited. And I just wanted to say like a massive thank you to all you guys, because... Like, if it wasn't for you guys, like, I wouldn't have had that. I wouldn't even be, like, you know, where I am today because it's you guys that give me the confidence to carry on making videos. So, yeah, like, if I didn't have you guys and didn't have any views, I'd, I don't know, I probably wouldn't continue. So, yeah, thank you so much. Um, and thank you to all the people who congratulated me and said that it was well deserved it your kind words like they really do mean a lot and um it just goes to show that a little bit of kindness in the world can make like a huge difference so always be kind and try and see the good in people even when somebody really really pisses you off you know try and try and have a positive outlook um it's easier said than done but i think that's that's what makes a difference in this world and this day and age that we live in while i'm here i wanted to give you a little update quickly on um my weaning off process with cutiapine i am actually documenting the whole thing eventually when i'm off it there'll be a whole video it's probably going to be quite long so i might have to do it in sections um but i've documented the whole thing like up till now and I'll continue documenting like until I completely off of it. I am currently at 200 milligrams. Um, the last decrease, which was 50, 50 milligram decrease, I did have withdrawals for like two and a half weeks and was quite poorly. And I currently am a lot better now. Like I feel back to normal and that is the way you're supposed to do it of coming off of cutiopine you're supposed to like I've been reading up on it and um when you're weaning off of a drug you need to wean off it very very slowly and basically come down the dosages you know mine's 50 so come down like I'm coming down 50 milligrams every two months and if I am ill like with withdrawals and then I get better, then I can decrease again. But you're not supposed to decrease until you're feeling better because otherwise it's hard to know whether you are actually having withdrawals from that drug or whether you actually need that drug in your system to treat whatever illness that you have. So that is why I'm doing it very, very sensibly, very, very carefully and that is why I'm documenting the whole thing. So hopefully it might help some other people. But I guess what I wanna say is, <laughs> and I've made it a bit long-winded, is that my appetite has decreased massively. Um, I have suddenly stopped eating a ton of food. I've stopped snacking. I'm even having evening meals and I'm kind of looking at my plate thinking, 
I don't even know if I want an evening meal. Like, I don't feel hungry at all. So it's really weird going from being mega, mega hungry and being greedy and, like, piling a load on my plate and just eating crap after crap after crap um, to not having an appetite at all, almost, um, and just wanting juice and water and keeping hydrated. Yeah, I'm literally, like, not piling food in my mouth. So... I'm hoping that I'm going to start shedding some pounds soon. I probably already have. I don't have any scales, so I can't actually, like, document that. But I probably will try and get some. I know that I was, like, close to, you know, reaching 11 stone, um, which is not good for me at all because I have a small frame underneath. Um, you know, I was very, very tiny before, um, and it was the cutiopene that put the weight on so naturally I am a very skinny person despite my curves which is just what happens when you become a woman and you grow and you expand in places that, you know you don't expect to expand um but yeah other than that I am like small I have I used to have a very small stomach whenever I went out to eat anywhere people around me would have to finish my plate because I could never eat like a full meal so um yeah I'm really relieved the fact that my appetite's reduced especially coming into summer um it would be nice to lose some weight and I remembered that when I first went on cutiopene I didn't actually start putting on weight until it reached like 200 max so if I have to stay on 200 150 150 if I have to stay on this drug at all and I've been able to lower the dose and lose some weight that's fab that's like that's all I wanted to achieve really so um yeah that's just my little update and I just want to let you know um in case you're interested but like I said there will be a whole video on my weaning off process um yeah so yeah I'm really happy guys um thank you so much for your support I just yeah, I really love you. You lift me up when I'm feeling down or if I'm having doubts or I don't know. You just make me feel good. You make me feel like like my voice matters and like my life matters and that's all I want to do is like for other people is to like lift you up when you're feeling down and tell you that your life is worth living and I want to be like a living example, living proof that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that there is a way out of all the suffering and the pain and that doesn't matter how much pain you've had, you can learn to self-heal and you can learn to heal that pain and you can learn to move on and step forward and have a future and be excited for a future want to have a future and have people around you and have positive people around you i just want to make people feel that there you know there is a way out because i am living proof and i know being on the right medicine has helped me and that is my living proof and some people do it without drugs and that's amazing i salute you um but for me i do need medication and lithium has really helped me loads in ways I never even imagined. I didn't think that parts of me would heal like they have. And trust me, they have. So, yeah. I will end it here. I can't believe it's actually only six minutes. I thought I was chatting for more like ten. Um, six minutes, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say, really. Other than I guess I'm in a good mood because we have had a lot of sun recently and we've suddenly had this like apparently this blast of air or heat come up from Tenerife and the Canary Islands and it's given us some warm weather recently here in the UK and everything's sort of dried up a bit and it's been really nice to actually get like summer clothes out um yeah that's been nice just having some sun makes you feel so much better um and I guess I've overall I've been out doing more things because of it. So yeah, I just I I'm in a really good mood. I'm I feel really positive about summer and um I'm being really creative at the moment. 
really creative. I've actually opened up an Etsy shop, um, first time ever. I like used to sell things on eBay, but I don't think, I don't know, the type of things I make that are handmade and like, just like one-off pieces, I just don't feel like eBay's necessarily that place. Um, so I decided to open up an Etsy shop because I know that Etsy is like quite a lot of creative people on there and quite a lot of handmade stuff. So I op opened up a shop and um, I started selling some bangles that I was making, like boho kind of style bangles that are like wrapped with fabric and added with like silver wire and beads. Um, and it's just something that keeps me going. Like I love making things and if I can make things, um, it just calms me and gets me in a really good like zen. I just, it's to me, it's like meditation. Like I absolutely love it and I think, bloody hell, I've got all these bracelets and all these bangles and things I'm making I'm like I've, I've only got like two wrists I can't wear them all so I was thinking I probably should sell some um so I'm giving it a go on Etsy so if you do want to check my Etsy shop out I'll leave it in the link below um it's Jessie Rose Creations if you go on there um and search for it um at the moment I'm only doing UK shipping because I'm not like it is quite a bit more to send elsewhere but if you do want one and you are from another country send me a message first and I'll try and get a quote on how much it is and then I can kind of work it out to send it to you so um yeah so yeah I'll like that my blah, 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 my bit of advice today I'm talking too fast my bit of advice today would be be creative, do something that you love to do, um, whether it's painting or drawing or colouring or building things, just, um, yeah, let out your creative side because it really is good medicine for your heart and for your soul. And um, and if, you, if you're not really a creative person, then that's absolutely fine. Just do something you love, like listening to music or going for a walk, going for a run, going for a bike ride. Do anything that you love to do that fills your heart with joy, do it. Because it's the best medicine ever and it's the best healer. And sorry, I keep pointing. I shouldn't point. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go now. It's 10 minutes. Went from 6 to 10 in like few seconds okay goodbye everybody thank you so much top 20 i'm so excited woohoo okay thank you i love you <laughs> goodbye <laughs>